Okay, so we gotta be learning about some history, baby. So basically, I've been learning history, uh, compact history, like people uh, in my uh, school. We learn a lot of history, so I think I should share some of the stuff I learned. Uh, so basically, uh, we have. Let's start with the. We let's, let's start with the Mesop Mesopotamian times. See, things were a lot simpler than just like before there were like any like complicated government economy stuff blah 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 politics you know that stuff it was simple it was very simpler times than it is today no presidents no tax or there were taxes probably but there weren't anything like confusing but basically what happens is um we should start with the so there's like these ziggurats they create. Religion is probably the key for them. Uh, they have important religions. If you don't follow religions, you probably die or something. Yeah, they have a very, very uh, stable religion. And basically what happens is that um, they, uh, it, uh, it, 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 eventually every like civilization falls. Mesopotamia civilization just doesn't work out, I guess. But yeah, they just um, d don't work out. But yeah, uh, they just don't work out. Now next we got the we should con we should uh, talk about the Chinese uh, Chinese ancient Chinese uh, civilization. So basically, this uh, they created uh, their first civil or oh, like one of the first civilizations on. Uh, the Huang River. Uh, the Huang means uh, the yellow. So I guess the river was yellow. So I guess that's why they call it the Huang River. Uh, maybe according to science, the lowest type of dust they have there kind of created uh, the, the uh, yellow thing. Yeah, the yeah, probably created the yellow thingy. So yeah, the, the thing called lowest. It's a it's a pretty complicated science there so there's dust and then yeah but it's just it's just complicated all right so this is not gonna be a written podcast like i don't read it from my book or something <sighs> but yeah i'm playing a bad words round anyway because um so uh, one of the first civilizations, like the Shang Dynasty, they kind of believed in the Mandate of Heaven. So the Mandate of Heaven is like a belief where um, people, like, it kind of controls the government, I guess. It's like, like, when a, like a king does not, uh, or they, uh, people, the citizens, I guess, the, su res the subjects, basically, uh, know or I guess uh, infer that uh, the king is uh, being accepted and doing well uh, as a communication of the mandate of heaven by uh, seeing like you know current wars if there's many floods and stuff because uh, since, since so if there's basically if there's like floods wars and like famine going on here and there then the king is uh, like exiled. So basically, they kind of lead rebellions, like a lot of rebellions against the uh, against the against the king. So uh, if the, if if there's a bunch of floods and you know bad stuff happening, famine, food shortages, those stuff, they uh, infer that the mandate of heaven uh, needs uh, wants a. Uh, new uh a new uh king so basically what happens is that um uh a lot of rebellions happen because of this uh kind of weird uh belief system of so basically uh they create a so like the shane dynasty is uh eventually destroyed since I don't know why they rule like a single uh, place and empire for like a hundred years or no 400 years and stuff but I guess it was just their way or custom of doing stuff since uh, since you know it was back in those times so we don't 
Well, we don't really care, or they don't really know stuff as right now. So, um, basically what happens is that a uh, bunch of uh, sh dynasties fall, a bunch of them rise, you know, you know, the, it's called like a cycle, I forgot, it's, it's like a dynastical cycle, I don't know what to call it since they, uh, they're like a bunch of uh, scientific or historic words for that stuff, but uh, they just, oh, this is sacking. Anyways, uh, this uh, they have religions, uh, and uh, and then the Zhao Dynasty rises, and then um, and I guess did they do better than the Shang Dynasty? Cause they lasted pretty for a long time. I think it was like 400 years. Ago, but I think the most most popular dynasty was the Han Dynasty since it did it did really well. Then the ones before they kind of advanced. Uh, it was kind of better, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, they, so basically the Han Dynasty uh, just just did better, okay? But before the Han Dynasty, it was the Quint Chin Dynasty, which is another really, uh, really cool dynasty, I shall say. Since it did well and bad at the same time, uh, but eventually, you know, every dynasty eventually kind of collapses, and then... The Warring States period, um, the Quinn Dynasty was probably created after the Warring States period or during the Warring States period because they used pretty harsh rules and they said that uh, they used also legalism and stuff. Uh, so basically the Qin Dynasty's uh, way of ruling was very harsh. They killed, beheaded, you know, cut people in half and stuff. And so it wasn't i guess that efficient but the chin dynasty uh believed in legalisms uh very strong uh, social order and stuff so yeah the chin dynasty was pretty cool i should say because basically the chin dynasty they were cruel, I just should say. They, uh, but that led them to their colla uh, collapsings because uh, there were many rebellions, like hundreds of rebellions. They just teamed up so much that they couldn't contain them anymore. So, um, oh, I'm getting destroyed. Uh, so yeah, they couldn't hold it anymore, and basically what happened is it eventually collapsed. Since um, some of the things, uh, some of the collapsed things uh, happened because uh, of like uh, because of their uh, thing, uh, what they call it, harsh rules and stuff. So it kind of it kind of uh, varied on that too. And then the Han Dynasty came after that. Uh, the Han Dynasty pr did pretty well. Since uh, since it was there for like a hundred years or so, or no, not a hundred years. It was like six hundred years or something. But the Han Dynasty did really well. And you hear me? So the Han Dynasty was insane. Uh, they were like the leaders of the whole, you know, Chinese scene. They were really good at ruling. Since um, everyone was like doing what they're supposed to do. They also follow Confucianism. There's like uh, two stuff I learned. Um, it was like, um, what do you call it? Uh, what am I supposed to call it? Yeah. But anyways, there was the Taoism. There was also the um, what do you call it? There was also the um, many stuff, many religions, I shall say. 
there were like hundreds and hundreds of religions and if you didn't follow them you'll probably die because their religion rules were pretty strict I shall say because you see um they they kind of treated religion as their first thing and then government officials as their second since uh, it was really yeah it was really important no sorry you cannot go there since that's my territory buddy i think that's enough premiere for today uh thank you for joining me till now See you guys uh, in the next time. See you.